Okay, if you want to take screenshots of uh, the different pages you have created in your blog for your presentation in, um, in our live session, um, all you've got to do is to press the magical key on your keyboard. It's on the screen right now. Um, and that's all you you do that. I'm just doing the thing and I'm going to go to uh, PowerPoint and I'm going to click here. I'm going to paste and I've got the image there and I can uh, do something like this and then then like this and then you can edit it. You can add a background or something or write something about this page if you want to. Now if you, if you don't like to have like this uh, thing here, the menu and all that, this extra information here, you can go to an image editor and cut uh, the section you want to show. That's something you can do. Now if you want to show the whole page, uh, this is what you're gonna do. If you don't want to show just part of your page, but the whole page, uh, you're going to press the uh, magical keys on your keyboard, the ones I'm showing you on the screen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to sort of uh, uh, reduce the size of the page so I can take screenshots of, of the uh, blog, the recording, and, and, the, and the blog for this page. So I'm going to click on Control minus. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so here I've got like a very nice view. So what I'm gonna do once again is to kick, on, uh, sorry, to press uh, that uh, key on my keyboard to, to take a, s a screenshot, and I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm gonna go to PowerPoint and paste um, the page there. Okay, and once again. I'm going to change the size so it's going to fit the slide of PowerPoint. Okay, but maybe you want to have this section here. So all you've got to do is to go once again to an image editor, cut and paste. I'm going to show you what it is going to look like if I use an image editor. Okay, so this is he. I am in Photoshop right now. Um, and what I want to do is to choose the area I want to show on my first slide. So I'm going to choose the area, okay, and I'm going to save it. And I'm going to type here about me. I saved, it, saved uh, these images JPEG. And I'm going to close here and I'm going to go back to PowerPoint. And I'm going to insert uh, this image. Click there. I'm going to choose here's the about me, and there's my my uh, image for uh, uh, or to talk a little bit about the about me page. Okay, if you don't have Adobe Photoshop, you can go to PicMonkey, and here's the URL. Okay, and um, it's free. And you click here on design and you go back to PowerPoint you paste your screenshot there and you saved it uh, and you save it as uh, JPEG uh, JPEG is here and I'm, I'm gonna save it here on my desktop and I'm going to save it as um, screen um, screen about me and I'm going to save it there just this slide and I'm going to close here and I'm going to go back to uh, PicMonkey. I'm going to upload the screenshot so I'm going to click here on my computer and um, I'm going to choose the uh, file and here's my screenshot and now I'm going to choose this area so I'm going to click here on crop and I'm going to choose the area I want for my presentation which is this one here and I'm gonna click here on apply and there's the image I want to use for my first slide and now I'm going to save it so I click here save and I save it to my computer and once again I'm going to go to Scritoriots, my um, desktop 
and I'm going to save it as screenshot about me final and I save it there great I'm going to go back to PowerPoint I'm gonna click here on new and I'm gonna see what it looks like so I'm going to click here on insert image and make sure I am here my desktop and it's got to be here here screen share about me final and right there see I can change the side and all that and it's a, a nice picture a good size and you are showing your whole page